Heights, and I grew up in a very sheltered home that, um, I, I grew up in a Christian home, so it was very sheltered, and um, I definitely had to overcome some things, which uh, one of these days I can share my whole testimony, but I saw the faithfulness of God, and he was so faithful um, in my family. But whenever he moved me to California, I had no idea how um, it was going to be a test of faith. And because um, I grew up with a church on every corner, everyone was a Christian. <laughs> and when I came here, I talked about Jesus, and it just, it just, a lot of times I'd go anywhere. Um, so, but, you know, I was always excited about it. And, um, I went through a very humbling season realizing that this moving out here was to see how much do I love God? Do I really love God on my own, on my own faith? Because growing up in the church, like I had my family, I had all my friends, we all believed. But whenever I was out here by myself with me and my husband, and we had to figure out this whole world, and it's basically a maze of just, you know, you're literally going blindly. I'm like, okay, God, what do I do? How do I do things? And everyone has an opinion on how to do things, right? <laughs> and they're all different. And so all these opinions are coming at you, telling you how you need to do things. And you're just like, I just felt like a bobblehead when I first got out there. I was like, what do I do, God? What do I do, God? Where's your voice? And um, it came to a very frustrating phase. But um, to go back, um, God gave me and my husband both vision separately for six months that we were going to move to LA and if you ask me I was never going to move from Texas I wanted to be by my family I was babies and then he started showing oh no you're moving to LA and you're doing x y and z so whenever I came out I was like all right let's go what are we going to do and it was just like oh no talk about the back ways it was back way after back way it was test after test after test after test do you want the world or do you want me Amber do you want the world or do you want me? It's always this. <laughs> and I kind of said, God, I'm over this world stuff. I don't even want to be asked. I just want you. You are all I want. You are all I need. I just want you. And so I'm so grateful for this city because I had to come out here and find my faith, knowing that all I want is Jesus. And that means turning down things that can be world success. Right. But I want to be faithful to Jesus. Right, right. So, what I learned, to make a long story short and a quick summary, because I know y'all want to get going to lunch, but I, I knew I was a daughter of God in Texas. In California, I'm a friend of God. Come on. I'm a friend of God. And he is faithful. And he loves you. He loves you. And you can have all the temptation in the world, but God's better. Money goes as you're talking, it goes in and out. In and out. It's like this, in and out. But God doesn't. He's faithful, he's firm, and he stays. And he stands to the very end. So, that's what I'm thankful for, and I'm thankful for this family. Like radiance. Oh my goodness. Jonathan and Sharon, they are not to be taken for granted. Amen. These are faithful servants. They are faithful servants. And that's a testimony of me pressing in. While I've been here, I, you know, I told you I'm choosing God's way. And so that means for one year, he told me to sit in my place and just study the word. So I only left for a couple business things or the things he told me to leave, but I stayed in my apartment day after day for a year studying the Word of God, sitting in His presence. So now that I know His presence, I don't want to be away from it. I don't want to be away from His presence. If you don't know His presence, get to know it. It's worth it. Because I spent many years not knowing His presence, but in the Word, knew He's there. But it's a difference when you're that you're a friend of God and you know his presence. It's different. Life's different. It's amazing. It's bringing heaven on earth every day. Every moment. But it causes we have to we have to choose to press in to step in it. 
he'll, he's always there. He's wanting to. He's like, when are you going to ask me to come in? I'm gonna, he's a gentleman. He's not going to force himself on you. But he's going to give you the best. It's worth the wait. So hold out. Hold on. And trust in our Father because he is so good. And California is amazing. I just want to say that. Because whenever I was telling people I was moving here, they're like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hope you don't, you know. <laughs> and now we get to go back. I'm closer to Jesus than I was when I was Texas. Dude. Yeah, no. We're not going to lose no soul in California. We're going to gain more souls for the kingdom. Amen. 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 Amen.